श्री गुरुजीओ नमः चिंतन वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 12 डी 11th क्वेश्चन द इनर सरकमफेरेंस ऑफ अ हैलो सिलेंड्रिकल पाइप इज 4.5 मीटर एंड आउटर सरकमफेरेंस इज 4.6 मीटर फाइंड द कॉस्ट ऑफ पेंटिंग बोथ इट्स इनर एंड आउटर साइड्स एट द रेट ऑफ रुपीस 20 पर मीटर स्क्वायर If it is eight meter tall, so they are talking about then hollow pipe. Or you can see the diagram is just take it briefly. In this, they have given the circumference. Circumference means once you come around this, this is circumference. The circumference of the inner pipe is given as four point five, and circumference of the outer pipe is given as four point six, and the length is given as eight meter. So they are going to Paint both the outer and inner surface. We have to find the cost of painting. So let us write what is given. First, they have given inner circumference. So circumference is two pi r. So inner circumference. Let us have two pi small r units, which is given as four point five meter. Same way, outer circumference is given as outer circumference is nothing but two pi. Let us ha have the radius as capital R unit, and that is given as four point six meter, and height is given as eight meter. So first, let us find out the area needed need to be painted. Let us find what is Inner curved surface area and what is outer curved surface area? So inner curved surface area equal to two pi. Inner radius is small r s, so small r h square units. So they have given already two pi r is given in the question is four point five into height is given as eight. So when I multiply this, eight fives are forty four. Eight fours are thirty-two plus four thirty-six meter square. Now let us find what is outer curved surface area equal to two pi capital R H square units. So two pi capital R is given as four point six into height is given as eight. So when I multiply this, eight into six is forty-eight four. Eight fours are thirty-two plus four, thirty-six meters square. So let me find out what is the total area need to be painted. So to find out the total area to be painted, I need to add both the inner curved surface area and outer curved surface area. So inner curved surface area plus outer. Curved surface area. So, what is inner curved surface area? Thirty-six plus outer curved surface area is thirty-six point eight. So, when I add these two, it is seventy-two point eight meter square. And they have given that cost of painting per meter square is given as rupees twenty. So we are going to find cost for seventy-two point eight meters square. So cost of painting seventy-two point eight meters square equal to rupees twenty into seventy-two point eight. So let me write zero as such. Two eight to sixteen balance one. Two two is a four plus one is five. And two sevens are forty. So we have one digit after decimal. So from the last one, so which is equal to rupees thousand four hundred and fifty six. So cost of painting the hollow pipe. So cost of painting equal to rupees thousand four hundred and fifty six. Now let us see next question. The external diameter of 
a 20 centimeter long and 1 centimeter thick. Hollow pipe is 25 centimeter. Determine the whole surface area of the pipe. So, what is given? They have given external diameter of a 20 centimeter long and 1 centimeter thick hollow pipe is 25. So, this is your diameter. So, diameter fully is, diameter is given as 25. The two external diameter is given as 25 and thickness of this pipe is given as 1 centimeter and height of this is given as 20 centimeter. So, now let me write what is given. So, first they have given height. Height of the pipe is nothing but long as 20 centimeter and they have given thickness. Thickness is equal to 1 centimeter and diameter the two external diameter is given as 25 centimeter. So, I need to find out what is capital R and what is smaller. So, external diameter from this if I find out radius, I will be getting external radius which is capital R which can be written as 25 by 2 centimeter. Now, when you observe this to find out the internal radius, I have to subtract this thickness is when I subtract the thickness from the outside radius, I will be getting inside radius. So, to find out inner radius, what is that we are going to find? Outer radius minus thickness, minus thickness. So, outer radius is 25 by 2. Thickness is minus 1. So, take LCM. Your LCM is 2. So, 25 minus 2 which is 23 by 2. So, first whatever they have given we have written as first they have given long. Long is nothing but height of the pipe is 20 centimeter. Thickness is given as 1 centimeter and external diameter is given as 25 centimeter. So, from that we have found what is radius capital R is 25 by 2. So, to find out small radius, inner radius, what is that we have to do? We have to subtract this thickness from the outer radius. So, outer radius minus thickness, we have found inner radius. Now, to we need to find, determine the whole surface area of the pipe. So, in this you have inner curved surface area, outer curved surface area plus thickness. If I find all this together will give whole surface area. Let me tell once again, inner curved surface area plus outer curved surface area plus this thickness. So, you will be finding thickness for the top and for the bottom. So, two times area of thickness will give whole surface area. Let us find out everything separately. So, when I find inner curved surface area, it is 2 pi r h square units. Let us have pi as it is. At last we can substitute. So, 2 into pi into what is inner radius? It is 23 by 2 into height is 20. So, 2 and 2 will get cancelled. When I multiply 23 into 20, it is 465 and what is the unit? Centimeter square. Now, let us find outer curved surface area which is 2 pi capital RH square units. So, 2 have pi as such into capital R is 25 by 2 into height is 20. So, 2, 2 will get cancelled. 25 into 20 is 500 pi centimeter square. Then what is that we have to find? Let us find area of circular ring. 
how many circular rings we have we have one at the top and one at the bottom so it is 2 pi to find area of circular ring it is pi r square minus r square which can be written as 2 pi into here we can use identity a square minus b square can be written as a plus b into a minus b so here it is r plus small r into r minus small r let us substitute the value so 2 write pi as such into capital R is 25 by 2 plus small r is 23 by 2 into 25 by 2 minus 23 by 2. So 2 into pi into 25 plus 23 is 48 by 2 into 25 minus 23 is 2 by 2. So 2 and 2 will get cancelled. 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So answer is 48 pi. So to find out whole surface area, I need to add all these areas. So whole surface area equal to inner curved surface area, inner curved surface area plus outer Curved surface area plus area of circular rings so in the curved surface area we have got it is 465 plus outer curved surface area is 500 pi plus area of circular ring is 48 pi so when I add all this 8 under 6 plus 4 is 10 1 1008 pi. Now substitute the value for pi. 1008 into 22 by 7. So 7 1 are 7. 7 1 are 7. Balance 3. 7 4 are 28. Balance 2. Again 7 4 are 28. So 144 into 22. So 144 into 22. When we multiply 8, 8, 2. Again 8, 8, 2. So 8, 16, 11 and 3. So 3,168 meter. 3,168 and it is given in centimeter square. So therefore whole surface area equal to 3,168 centimeter square. 